Welcome to Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube channel video. You're here with your host, GBHL James, and I'm going to bring you my second edition of James's, GBHL James's Hobby Vlogs. So as you can see here, these are the Eagles that were in the Hobby Vlogs last week, looking pretty much finished. Uh, we now have done a battle report with these guys in them. Uh, still not completely finished Gua here there uh, in the middle, just a couple of little bits of highlighting that needs doing with that gentleman. Uh, but I have already brought these guys. Uh, as you can see there, with that eagle it's also my first opportunity to use uh, one of the uh, new games workshop technical paints the uh, the blood for the blood god uh, which actually works quite well i mean it does make it make the models look slightly warhammery it's not particularly lord of the ringsy um but yeah i thought i would try that on one of the eagles and i quite like that and uh, i have to say fielding them was tough was uh, very very tough fielding things that you don't normally field because you've got to try and think of all the rules and all the little nuances of bringing new stuff as you can see there was a uh, gandalf in the background and alfred also made an appearance although he uh, he didn't do too much which you will see in that battle report when it's released so for those of you that are on the gbhl facebook group the great british hobbit league facebook group then you will have seen that this last week in terms of hobby i've been focusing on something else and I have been working on these guys here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera off and put it back on when I've got them in focus. And here are the three hunters that I've been working on this week. Now, I've not really, before the Eagles, been able to do much painting for, for my hobby for quite a long time. Obviously, I've been very, very busy with work and the business. And uh, most of my hobby time has been dedicated towards bringing videos to the channel. However, with being ill this last 10 days, uh, it did mean that I could... Uh, get the eagles done and I used the eagles as a bit of an experiment to try and improve some of my highlighting skills because I thought now that I'm getting back into painting I don't need to paint things I want to paint them to a nice high standard and so I did actually start off here with the three hunters and with Aragorn in particular I've been posting these pictures up on the Facebook group if you want a nice clearer look so there we go uh, this is Three Hunters Aragorn, it's probably one of my top three favourite models in the entire range, perhaps, maybe maybe top five, there are some good ones. Um, and I have to say, I am really, really pleased with him, really, really pleased. Uh, so one of the things that I've struggled with, or not struggled with, but not really had the patience with uh, since starting painting for the hobby, was improving my highlighting skills. Uh, really, I mean, there's, there's that point when you start painting, uh, if you are trying to sort of paint for gaming where really what you what you end up doing is you you paint the base colors on and then you ink it and you think do you know what that model looks good enough but actually if you spend some time doing the highlighting it is the highlighting which really really finishes off the models now i used a couple of uh, new sort of techniques um i mean before I think I was a little bit too stark with my attempted highlights. I don't think I had the patience to sort of work your way up through the different colours. And I think I was also mismatching colours. So I asked quite a few questions on the Great British Hobbit League Facebook group about colour combinations and which colours would work well with colours. And I've had a lot of compliments about the cloaks in particular. And I actually started off with the cloak of Aragorn here. Uh, lots of people have asked me questions, how or what colours did I use, because it's got that kind of grubby, realistic, sort of weathered look. Uh, and for the cloaks, for the three hunters, for the Elven cloaks, I actually used the base coat of uh, Castellan Green. I then used Agrax Earthshade Wash. Um, and I was dragging, and again, a new sort of shading technique for me, is I didn't just heavily wash the whole model. I actually just sort of gently dragged it over and made sure that I was always dragging the brush stroke in the direction of where the shadows were going to be, uh, which I think has been quite important. Uh, once I did that, I actually did exactly the same, but with a little bit less of known oil right in the crevice, crevices. So just give it that darker shade, then a lighter shade, and then of course you had the Castellan coat. And after that, I took the Castellan, and again, I've been using something different, which I wouldn't normally use uh, to try and improve my painting. And that is instead of just using water with the highlights, I've actually invested in a Vallejo, I think that's how you say it, a Vallejo glaze medium. Now this is a way of thinning, thinning the paints without using water. One of the problems I found when thinning the paints with water when applying my highlights is that the paint still dries quite quick and it dries away from the end of the brush, which means that you end up getting some of the paint collecting further down. And really when you're painting, you want to use the tip of the brush rather than you know the further down. And I was finding that I was in up with quite thick, stark highlights because that it was withdrawing. And also the paint on the model dries quite quickly. 
um, when you use water. Whereas when you use the medium, the glazed medium, you only need a couple of little drops. It actually thins it nicely and you stop getting the, um, the sort of drying effect where it just sort of all clumps up um, and sort of dries very quickly and you can't sort of get the blend that you want as you move it down. So I actually mix using a glazed medium for the first time and I found that that really works. That's a top little hobby tip there and I'll probably do a little uh, hobby tip video for those. Uh, and uh, I just went back over it with the Castellan Green on the higher raised edges in particular and just really tried to get a nice smooth blend uh, in with the, um, the Castellan which had been gone over with the Agrax. Then after that I was looking at the colour wheels and I noticed that Castellan in particular has got quite a yellowy shade to it so I used, I think it's Baylor or Baylon Brown, Baylor Brown which is kind of like a golden yellowy uh, brown and I did a sort of 50-50 mix with the Castellan and just sort of went over the edges uh, for the cloak highlight first of all just but really tried to get a blend so I didn't just do the edge otherwise that would be quite a stark highlight I actually went maybe sort of uh, the top third of where the highlight was going to be on the model that's where I sort of went over with that first 50-50 and then I actually made it more of a um, I added another dollop of the Baylor Brown so then I had the lighter shade and went over again with that but this time right close up to the highlight and then just with the Baylor Brown I, uh, I actually dry brushed and I bought myself an actual dry brush in dry brush rather than just using an old dry brush and, uh, and I found that that's really worked. You've really got to get the paint off and you've got to be patient and just go for the raised area so you don't end up affecting the whole model. Uh, but I found that that worked really, really well. So another new tool there to help me with my painting techniques. And then on top of that, just very, very faintly on the edges, I actually just used the Baylor Brown uh, just to pick out sort of the yellow highlight and then I did an additional highlight, but only on some parts that would really be standing out in the sun. I mixed in some of the Sharpty Bone with the Baylor to get a lighter colour and just with the thin brush really sort of etched those bits out. And that's how I did the cloaks. Uh, very similar technique done on the other areas, but obviously with different colours. I was quite confident with the browns, uh, not so confident with the um, Caliban green. As you can see, I sort of thought, well, this is a bluier green, so I decided to go up to the blues on that. I think that looks quite good. So that's Aragorn, and then here we've got Legolas. I'll come back when I've got focus. And this is the Legolas. So I wanted the Legolas uh, not to have that bluey green. I wanted him to have a bit of a brighter green now on his tunic. So I hope you guys like that. And I noticed that he's got a bit of blue in there as well. I wanted a bit more of a lighter model. I have to say that I am really pleased with how this guy turned out. Um, I think that the cloak, funnily enough, on the Aragorn lent itself better to the technique that I used. The one thing that I've not been happy with is the fact that the um, the shades, the Agrax Earth shades, the washes that I've used from Games Workshop has got a bit shiny on the Aragorn and I, apparently that's to do with not shaking your washes properly or allowing it to build up too much. So I'm going to get a matte varnish and uh, hopefully fix that there. But yeah, I really love this Legolas model. This again is one of my favourite models and it's probably the best job with eyes that I've ever done. So I have a real good look there. You Tell me what you think about this guy and with the skin. Some people commented at first that his skin was a little bit too dark, so I did go back over it um, and I think he looks much, much, much better now. I'm really, really pleased with the paint job, um, especially how the greens turned out as well. So he's a bit brighter than, than Aragorn. Um, but he's less shiny because I did give the washes a good shake. Then finally, the final member of the Three Hunters, not my favourite Gimli pose, but I have to say, it's in painting him, uh, I'm really happy. This guy, as you can see, is not finished. I've made a good start of him, and I have used him in a game, uh, but he's not finished. Uh, he has just had his base coats and some of the washes applied. A little bit of highlighting on his chainmail, a bit of dry brushing, and the cloak I've made a start to there, uh, but not quite finished. Um, so yeah, that's him. I think my favourite Gimli pose is probably Heroes of the West, where he's got the back sort of down to the side, although there are a couple of others that I do like. But this is my three hunters, and you will have seen them in a battle report versus not GBHL Jamie quite recently. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that, and I really enjoyed fielding them. I'm absolutely made up, so I'm, I'm looking forward to using uh, these guys again in the future uh, because it was so much fun. So that's been my hobby blog for this week, and once Gimli's finished, I'll be going on to some other projects, and I'm going to leave it down to you guys to decide what I work on next because I really want to spend some nice time on it. Now, because I've got a Gandalf the Grey uh, mounted now, I am thinking of painting up the Gandalf the Grey from the Breaking of the Fellowship set that I've got, and I'm thinking of maybe making him my next paint job, or I'm also quite keen to avoid the Alfred um, situation with the, uh, with the Eagle Army that I've got, 
I'm actually quite keen to perhaps paint up my Bayon, which I was going to send off to Shadow and Flame, especially after seeing the great job that he did at Desolation of Stockport 1.0. But he has given me some tips about how to highlight up from the black with the bear, uh, using like a Vomit Brown instead, which I think is uh, Tau Ochre, I think is the new Vomit Brown colour. Um, so he has given me some tips, so I think I'm going to try and maybe do that. But I want to leave it to you guys. Would you like to see me paint Bayon the Bear next as part of my hobby vlogs? Or would you like to see me paint Gan off the grey on foot from the break into the fellowship next. I'm going to leave it down to you guys. Comment below with what you think. As always, guys, make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby. Follow us on Twitter. And happy strategy battle gaming.